y'all so in today's video i will hook my earring in today's video it's a quick short video on how i braided my hair like this i recorded it for you guys because this hairstyle was like 30 dollars i had three packets each packet was like 10 dollars with tax so i paid like 31 dollars i will show you guys in the video how i did it but listen she's cute other my friends are waiting for me um i started like this today at church um you can have it down you can have it up you can have it in different colors but this is just a video to help au pairs do they hear on a budget because we all know that in america it's expensive so i hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to like comment and subscribe and let's go to show you guys how it's done First, make sure your music list is banging because you're going to need a lot of music, movies, stuff to watch when you do this. But this is me setting my hair. So I'm showing you guys all the things I have. This is like an oil. I like to put some sort of oil on my hair. These products I actually had already because when I had longer hair. And so I'm just using them. But I like to put a good amount of oil on my hair because I am going to be braiding it and it's going to be under the braids when looking for oil for your hair you can go as expensive as you want to be or cheap you can use olive oil you could use castor oil you can use argan oil you can use any oil you want to and then i like to put in um a, like a grow leaving conditioner i'm just going to show you guys all my things first this is a styling gel this is all the things i'm going to use um so styling gel and then these are the rubber bands that i got it's about a dollar for a pack of 100 you're gonna see why i need them it just makes my life so much easier and faster now i'm applying in the leave in now listen i am no expert i just prefer putting leave in because as i said to you guys when i take out my braids i do not want my hair to be dry i don't want my scalp to be ashy so i love to put product i promise you it doesn't create build up and then this is the last thing this is like a styling gel jam sorry i didn't realize that i was almost out but it still worked these are the braids i was showing you well the locks i was showing you guys obviously you saw in the beginning but this is a packet pause here and take a screenshot so you can buy it this is the color honestly in this color i don't know i was trying a new thing i've never done this color um so this is the technique first of all y'all when I tell y'all, it is so much harder doing this on shorter hair. Like, I, for the first time I had to do it this way, usually I start from the back up. But because my hair at the back is way more shorter than the front, I had to go from the front back because I couldn't see. Like, my hair just kept getting in the way and my parts were just, like, not doing its own thing. This by far was the most frustrating part of it. And then I also had to like tie it like this, which in the past I could just make pom-poms like this and call it a day and then put the locks on. But this time I actually had to like braid them before putting the locks on because as you guys can see, the pom-poms are puffy, but also the pom-poms are getting in the way of like the actual parting system. Um, so this is where I was getting so frustrated because I was just annoyed. But see, I had to like braid him like this to make my life super easy because the big puffy pom-pom waves were literally irritating me and they were getting in the way and I had to start from the front back. Now, my parting is not the greatest, so do not judge me. But when you have the locks on, you can't really see the parting. You see, when I got to this part, I was so excited. I still wasn't sure if I was feeling this color, but look at these bumps where my hair pops out. I'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it because remember I told you my hair is like puffy. I have like pom-pom looking hair and so my ends keep popping out. What I did is I just took one crochet lock and I just cut the top off it. So I took the top out and then I took the other one and I went to the bottom of it and I cut out the end part. Basically I cut out where the blonde begins. I cut that out and then what I do is I unwind the hair like I'll open the hair out you'll see. I'll open it out and separate it into like little pieces and then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna take it and put it on top of that lock to cover up my actual hair because as you guys can see my hair is black and that is brown 
and so you can definitely see where my hair ends and where this begins and so i'm just gonna take it and i'm just gonna tie it over my hair and make it blend in neat i must tell you guys this i haven't done my hair in a while because i've had short hair and so i was moving a bit slower than when i had been doing it for a lot because i feel like i've forgotten some of the techniques i learned also the best thing i did for myself was bring in this mirror because i was able to see the back of my head with it so when i was like trying to connect it i was able to reach in this is it up close guys i will tell you this because i also hadn't braided my head in a while my scalp was very like tender or not even just tender it just felt very sensitive now let me show you all the technique so you go under the braid that you've braided with your crochet needle you open the pin make sure your pin is open and then there's like a loophole as you guys can see you clip it in the loophole clip it and pull it forward the lock you need to go under your actual braiding plait like it must basically be on your scalp and then what you do is you take the end of your lock here and you hoop it through the hoop that you already locked it in basically it must almost form like a little knot on your head and so can you see like i'm hooping it through so now it's like hooping through i keep making these faces because guys when i tell you my sc my scalp was like super sensitive but by the time i woke up in the morning it was fine it was just because i hadn't braided my hair as i said um i learned how to do my own hair here in america so do not forget i hope you guys well before i say the rest i hope you guys enjoyed the video i just showed you guys i hope you guys loved it and if you did give me a thumbs up if you have any other questions i basically had to teach myself all this with the youtube education so do not forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know do you braid your own hair because this was like what as i said 31 dollars, and then the hair products i already had them so that saved me but if i did this at the salon they were quoting me like 110 120 which is 110 120 which when you convert it's almost like what 1200 1300 rand i just i just can't get used to that and i shall be doing my own hair until besides when i go to the barber but yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe